Welcome back everybody to another episode of Outer Worlds. Last we left off, we were finishing a couple missions inside of the Groundbreaker. So we are talking to that. Um, we got some more missions. Hopefully it will be out of here fairly soon, but uh... In the meantime, we'll do what we can. Get as much experience. Wait, the unreliable. I can't go in there yet until I clear my debts. So, we can't do that. We can do this, though, right? Maybe not. Uh. Captain's quarters regarding his attempts to turn Sam into a combat capable unit. But never picked up the part from the Roseway. I think that might be somewhere else other than here. What else we got? View distress signal. Relay ray. Acquiring the science weapon. Alright. We are gonna go talk to... Uh, I guess Udom Bedford and get my uh, shit. Get my ship, uh, not impounded no more. So let us head up to here. I'm just gonna hang in the back and try not to touch anything. All right. We interrupt your regularly scheduled. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, yes. a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne, and you are not he. Has yeah. Something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer. Yeah. I'm going to bring you screen your pet back. Oh no, this is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? Are they actually friends In though? Whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? <coughs> I impounded Alex's ship. Not yours. Well, I guess it's yours now if you're captaining it. Yeah, it is. It's a mine a play. He and I. I ask him to turn in Phineas Wells. He tells me he will soon. I impound his ship. He explains why he can't give me the info right now. I ask him to turn in Wells. <laughs> around and around we go. Yeah. Right, right. You're going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> I am indeed. There, I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go... What's that? Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? Nope, not a thing. That's... Uh, well, that's just terrible news. Sorry, I don't trust you. Oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terrible. Yeah, uh... Jesse Doyle. Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. Oh, really? Jesus. That's not unreasonable. I guess it's better than losing your organs, but... I don't know, Captain. It just doesn't seem right. Miss Doyle is deeply well? in debt. And the board it's up to has her. Right to do whatever they like to recoup. Unless well, she wants to come with me, but what guarantee do I have that she'll agree to the terms you negotiate? Uh. I quite concur. It's refreshing to deal with something yeah. practical for a change. I will recall my collection agent. Tell Miss Doyle to report to me promptly for her first assignment. The board reputation now, increased. Oh no. Is there no. anything else you need, or can I? Uh, can you give me Stellar Bay? Good law. Who'd want to go to that toxic hell pit? No. No. No, you can't. No. Unequivocally, no. Immutably, no. It must be a real shit show over there. All right. Ask. Yeah, these guys. I don't want to talk to them. Pieces of scum. I wish I could say it was good to see you, Ellie. 
At least you finally got your chance to square our debt. That ought to make you smile for once, huh? Nothing makes me happier than being even. So, the good news came Hello. from the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Tell you what. I guess I'm so. a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. If you're looking for a medic, I can work my day Oh, off. a medic? It's like you really don't like owing people, do you? It in the box. It's just one of those things that gets under my skin. Sure, welcome aboard. You won't be sorry. Or if you are, just add it to my debt and we'll figure something out. Welcome to the crew, Miss Ellie. We're real happy to have you. Alright. That's done. Ellie can now join the party. Something on your... Alright, head back to the ship for okay. now. Okay. What about you? Got to talk to you at all? Got word from Udom, from the hitman who trailed me the other night. Seems I'm indentured to the board now. I ain't too elated about going exclusive, but it's better than winding up dead. I did what I could. You sure saved my skin, stranger. All debts between me and Ellie are cleared. I'll be on my way. Okay. So now... Passage. Bye. I don't have the bits. Oh wait, I was gonna go somewhere else. Oh, I do have the bits. Or, I could get it to another area. Hmm. You know, alright, well we're gonna do a couple things first. And then I might do that. Take a quick hit of that sweet, sweet nectar. Sweet, sweet nectar. Hey, you got a second? Who are you? You're running into Who are you? you again? Hello. Don't mind me. It's just admiring your ship from up close. You, you got a to you, boss? That's a fine looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. Really? Yes, I absolutely am. Really? Just give me a shot. That's all I'm What asking. do you do? Your I melee weapon? Crew you ever hired. <sighs> Tell me why. Giving me a shot. Well, all right. Maybe. Uh, hang on, hang on. I put together a little speech just in case you asked. Hey there, I'm Felix Millstone. I have prepared a list of reasons why I believe you should mm -hmm. hire me to join the crew of your ship and or outlaw gang. Are you reading up your yeah. hand? It's a second draft. Firstly, I am highly personable, and I get along well with anyone who is not of the jackass persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. He's funny. Uh, secondly, I can be counted on in the event of a firefight, standoff, and or raid. Okay. The motto is, if you need a steady gun hand, I'm your man. That motto is a... Yeah. Uh let him continue. Let's see what else he several has. Several years of experience as a box hauler. This skill may come in handy if you need a body dragged away or a door held open while escaping enemy fire. Oh. In conclusion, thank you for considering me for your ship crew and or outlaw gang. I look forward to <laughs> our adventures together. Okay. I thought that was real good for you. Thanks for the vote. What do you well. think? I've heard enough. Thanks, boss. You got a crew now, Felix. All right, let's go talk to. Uh, what's this pickle? The vicar. Max. Uh, he's upstairs in the quarters. Captain's quarters. I not Captain's quarters. Yo. Got it. His name is Reginald Cheney, and he joined a sublight salvage crew. Okay. Only he's not listed on the return manifest. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. Okay. Oh, yes. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook, rented to the same bit car he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? 
What aren't you telling me? I suppose I really didn't have much faith in actually finding him. It was a bit of a long shot, wasn't it? Yes. I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universe's secrets, you sometimes get a sense for these things. All right. Another one okay. down, boys. So I was Another one down. Ellie. So you're medic medical, huh? Increase the amount of heal health. Oh. Cool. Felix, what do you do? You're persuasive. Oh, and you got a big ass gun, do you? Alright. Oh no, not that. Vicar. Hack. Rain damaged. Watching this program. All right. Now, what else are we doing? Monarch. Don't know about that one. Return to the Unaiyah. Series about the mass markets here. Hey, Excuse Captain. Me. Can I? What's up? So, June Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages? I got him yep. here on my data pad, and well, she sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. All right. I don't know if I should read into it. Because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good. Okay. But real sweet. She rhymed compression alternator with aches to meet her. Huh. It's about this engine okay, that's that's shaking weird. itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. And the trouble goes away. It sings. All right. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if oh. she's the engine and I'm the lady. It's Possible? a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kind of. It's possible. I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't. I just okay. don't care for it. Uh, it's been a problem in the past. The don't give a damn. To me back in the veil. They didn't. They said I was cold. You might be a sociopath. You're about to warm up and Could just be nerves. Could just be nerves. No, sir. That's not it. No? I guess I just needed to talk. I'm feeling a touch better. Thanks for... Actually, right. another message from June Lei. I just... Couldn't work up the courage to open it. Let's see here. Alrighty. Talking about old friends. Got to thinking, thinking. Isabel. Everything I... Right. They were... Close, Captain. More than friends close. I don't know. June Lei talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, Jesus. I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? I suppose so. Thanks, Captain. I'll be ready. Alright. Level up! Promoted! Hacking, Medikyle. Uh, what do you guys think? Intimidate, lie, persuade. Let's get. Well, we gotta get some stuff up to sixty. So let's do that first. Hostile effect. And Ray. Uh, let's try this. Put that up to six. Put that bad boy up to sixty. And then 
Sure. Let's go get slam. Let's go get hammered, lady. Let's roll. Oh, actually. I haven't checked this in a wee bit. Flamethrower. Critical damage. A silent flamethrower? Hell yeah, we'll try that. <laughs> Higher. Bigger mag. Plasma rifle. Uh, well, it's not too necessary. Uh, I could turn it into shock damage and just say screw the pistol. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that because that's energy, energy, shock. Seventy five. Oh, very nice. Uh, Pavardi. Wait, I can have two peoples? Wait, did I read that right? Hold on a moment. Oh, my God, I can. Okay, good to know. Alright, let's go get hammered. Woo! Bob door. So, how's this work? Do we get a table? Stand in a corner? Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Are you let's sure? just do it proper. Alright. Oh, seem no, nervous. That's, just, that's on account of my not being able to sleep lately. Makes my hands all twitchy, you know. I've just been lying awake, thinking about what Jun Lei said, and I feel my heart shake. Yeah, new to the whole thing, loosening up. Let's go with. Nah, we're gonna well, go straight up whiskey. For, so I'll take your word on it. Bottoms up. Whoa, easy there, Parvati. Maybe you want to work yourself up to whiskey next time. Oh, no, it's good. I'm, I'm fine. I just didn't expect it to taste like. Oh, propellant. Oh, stars, I can feel it settling. Oh, Captain, I'm pining for doing like something fierce. What? A... What are you doing? Specifically, Generally, specifically. Definitely. Definitely, specifically. Oh, oh, why did I drink that? I mean, just with Jun Lei. I don't know what to do about us. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Okay. Isabel mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. She, what she actually write? It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad. How a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think June Lay still has feelings for her? I just got a lot of feelings, Captain. Climbing up to your throat, huh? Climbing up my throat. I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. Let's get you some water. Water's for cowards. Okay, maybe. She right. smashed. Hydration, here I come. Good thinking, boss. You just saved Parvati a whole lot of trouble. Shush you. Oh, Captain. I want to talk to Junlei all the time. 
even about silly things, but I'm so scared. About what? Um, about everything? her? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she's in like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we, we get together and she gets bored of me? <laughs> Fuck if I know, I'm just here for the booze. There's nothing easy about about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not? Then you go your separate ways, we have that one Hmm. What, just move on? Like, snapping your fingers? I don't know. Maybe I got a weak heart. It all just seems... impossible. You won't know yeah. until you try. Yeah, I know you're right. Just wish it were that easy, is all. I'm not used to speaking free with folks. Back in Edgewater, there wasn't no one who wanted to know my mind. Excepting my dad. Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think... ungenerous thoughts. We all do, lady. But I, I want to be my best self for her. A good person. Worth caring for. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got... Alright. Anytime. I think I should ask her on. Don't ask for my opinion. Believe in yourself. I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. You know something, Parvati? You ought to come drinking with the crew more often. Huh. All right. Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Yeah. Come on, let's go. All right. Do I get experience for that? No. No. Ba ba ba. Let's roll. Get some more experience, shall we? So we can get promoted. Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't... Oh, that whiskey to get my headache and something fierce. Feels like a prime is chewing on my skull. Woohoo! Goddamn massive apes. I wouldn't mind having a drink again. Someday. In the... I messaged June Lei when we got back and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night, Anxious to see I reread my said. message in the morning, and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent Otherwise, it. I wouldn't Otherwise, have had I wouldn't have had the Alright. Oh, she Any called funny typos? mashed potatoes, smashed potatoes. But I think maybe that's just what they call them on Groundbreaker. I've ruined things in the past, because I didn't say things I should have, like... I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. Yeah, my dude. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, in my defense, it's not like June was all too clear about what she was trying to say. She still ain't. I ought to go write her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. <laughs> but anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain. Promoted! Oh, not quite promoted. Alright. Damn dogs. Uh, science station primary relay is going off. What is that in another? Can I change sorting? Peril location. Here it is. Space groundbreaker. That sounds. That's on a different place too, though. So much for location region. Alright. We're gonna go for... We're gonna go to this bad boy here. Uh, which one was it? This one. So I think we're gonna go with Pavardi, because she's Malay. Melee. And I might go with Ellie. And then I'll have better healing shit. It's a touch different from the ones I've seen. It shouldn't be so hard to get it patched up, though. Perfect Barred spot up. for some peace and quiet. Hey, what do you actually have, lady? Uh, Ellie. What do you carry around? A shotgun? A shotgun pistol. Interesting. Now nah, you can keep that. Use this better. Oh, brown gun. Nope, nope. There we go. What is this? Can we... Do something about it? Okay, keep it quiet. Keep it quiet. Tactical shotgun, we'll take that. Can I pick those up? Here we go. Nope. Nice shock damage is good. Good old shock damage on these bad boys. I've had to start a new journal. I cannot read my previous entries without the whispers tempting me. The whispers do not stop. Every person I see, the whispers tell me to get help, 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 help them. They show me the pain and longing hiding in their eyes. They tell me how these people want, no need, the gifts I can give. All it would take is a few moments with a blade, a bright, bright, bright fountain of crimson to delight the eyes, and all of their pain will be gone. I could do it. I know how to help them. It gets harder and harder to stop myself. I saw a friend today, an old friend from school, who's now a doctor for Auntie Cleo. I told them about my dreams. Nothing outright. Oh, no, I'm not so foolish as that. I told him it was an old book I'd found and described my dreams and whispers as happening what whispers as happening to a character in the book. I asked him how he'd help his character. He looked at me and he knew. He knew, he knew. The whispers told me to end his pain that he told oh, Jesus. I got up, left quickly. I did not hurt him. I have to leave Byzantium. He will tell. They'll come for me and lock me away. I must find a secret place. A place I can be alone. A place with no whispers. Take a breath of that, because I believe I'm concussed. <laughs> Damage 
Oh. Yep, I'm doing okay, baby. How are you? Woo! Ammo! Woo! Get that. <coughs> here the whispers have a source and I found it I've taken refuge on an orbital relay station it is smaller than a workers hovel barely a few thousand square meters but sufficient for my needs I was able to flee Byzantium with enough bits to purchase supplies to last for the decades it was strange being among common people on the groundbreaker the whispers barely stirred at the sight of their ill-fed scarred and unwashed bodies if only there were fewer freight freighters docking them, bringing people from Byzantium. I could almost have made a home free of temptation. As I made this place livable, or as much as it can be done, I started hearing the whispers from the relay terminal. They told me to listen to the voices traveling through the aether to reach me, calling out to me to help them. Alone, lonely, needing for my help, I found a way to power down the transmitter. No more voices in the ether. Either. Either? Is it pronounced ether or ether? I think it's ether, but. And no more whispers. They fell silent. This was not me. It's not. I am not this foul thing that I feared for so long. It was the voices in the ether trying to make me hurt others, but I was stronger than they. And I have defeated them. I have already begun making plans to return to my home. Now that the whispers are defeated, I can resume my life again. I can't wait to return. I miss my family and co-workers so much. Especially Delilah. Get some more ammos. Alright. Time to shock. Oh! Hey look, it's a janitor. Can I, uh... Steal some parts from you? You wouldn't mind, right? I kind of got a, a thing back home that needs done. How'd you do that so fast? Anything else? Ah. Hide up here. An ambush! Take this guy. Yep. Oh, my leg. I done broke it in my leg. Is that not? There we go. You probably don't need my dig. Ooh. A silencer. Holy crap. That is a lot. 82 damage for a one-hander. He's definitely dead. Poor fella. You think he did it to himself, Captain? That's I don't know. Let's see. Sad. He sure did. <coughs> Frey. Frey's journal. Forgive me. I was so wrong. The whispers did not stop. Not. They have returned. They howl. Demanding I return home and bathe the streets in crimson. Bright crimson. Beautiful crimson. I can think of only one way to end this. End. End. Forgive me, Delilah. Hey there, Delilah. Alright. We gotta turn this bad boy on. This is where I would have came from. Let's restart you, shall we? Activate. Alright, she's back on. Let's just go to. Last night I dreamed and it was beautiful. The streets of Byzantium were decorated with crimson streamers that laughed in the breeze. They asked me to take them, to give them to my special ones. 
I gathered the crimson in my arms and felt so alive, so happy. I turned and Delilah was beside me. I did not question why my supervisor was over there. But I, her eyes so full of the emotions, I know she feels but dares not show at work. I wrapped, I wrapped her neck in crimson, tying it tight as a scarf on a cold day, so beautiful. Then the crimson on her neck opened as a second mouth and began screaming. Holy shit, this person's got some definitely mental problems. When I awoke, I was scared. The dreams are so real now, and this time I recognize a face. I had to leave work early today. Every time I looked at Delilah, I heard a whisper in my mind about how beautiful she would look with a touch of crimson on her neck. This must stop. This is not who I am. This is not who I will become. I must find help. Actually, we're injured, so let's uh, take a little sleepy poo. Just, just a little sleep. Just a little. Whoa, what do we got in here? Nicely done. Oh, ho, ho. Explain your status is. Update. Hack. Ho, ho, ho. I'm not sure what that did, but did something. Let's save. It's been a bit. Oh yeah, guys! Just like that, done another mission. Let's get promoted. All right, back to Groundbreaker, and then we'll hit either Skilla. Well, I guess Skilla or Monarch, I guess. The, the two that we haven't been to yet. The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. I'll take the same people again. Continue. Yeah, take her so she can heal me better. I think we're still good on inventory space. If not, I got two people there to help. So instead of buying this um, stellar tea, I think we're just gonna earn it. And then we'll take a look at some of the. We can tinker on our some of our um, stuff and get it upgraded. Ooh, My his, comm center already got an update ping her from the backup relay. I trust everything went smoothly. Here's your data backup. Hmm, that's odd. The only messages in the queue are encrypted ones. Looking at the transmission logs, mean? the relay hasn't received a single unencrypted message in the past 36 months. Must be on account of some new security red tape. Well, whatever's the okay. cause, the board and the Earth Minister will see it sorted. Done. Thanks again for saving my derriere. Cool. Was it just experience? You give me some point, some bits. Yeah, fifteen hundred. Good, good. I think we have a workbench just up here. We can level up our guns. Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's break down some stuff too. Repair, 94%. That's good. Armor. That's good. Tinker. Yes. More, more. Yeah, see, it looks freaking expensive to do that. Down to 4,000 now. And it didn't even max it. Uh, journal. Let's see. Quest type. Location. 
Find Captain Ingredient on Skilla. Monarch is the other one. We're gonna go to Sk Skilla. Get to Skilla and then. Yeah. Festus can't go to Typhon. Okie dokie. Destination reached. <sighs> Good luck, Captain. Hell to the yes. Ooh. That's pretty neat. That massive station. Okay. Not bad. Alright, everyone. That is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll catch you in the next one. See ya!